someday. That's a song I wrote about depression, about struggling through life with being depressed and having anxiety and how to deal with it in a lot of ways. I'm, I didn't know that I actually suffered from depression and anxiety. I never really thought about it until just the last few years. And it really hit me when it all came to a head last October when I had COVID. I got October, mid-October. I've talked a little bit about this on some of my videos. And was laid up for two solid weeks. Um, just, uh, it was more like a really bad case of the flu for me, but it really affected my head. Not only sinus-wise, but uh, psychologically-wise. I just was so exhausted and so tired I couldn't wake up, uh, I'd wake up to barely eat and then just go back to sleep and 
Um, I just had a fog. I just couldn't get my, my head out of the fog. I couldn't think. I couldn't lay and watch TV. I couldn't do anything but just lay in bed and just keep going back to sleep. And about, I guess it was about almost two weeks in, maybe 10 or 12 days in, I woke up in the morning and I just all of a sudden knew I, I had to get up. I had to get up, I had to get moving. I couldn't stay in the house any longer. It was just like everything was wrong in the world. Everything was just crashing down. Nothing was right. I started pacing in the hallway. That uh, didn't help. I put on my bathrobe and went out and paced in my backyard. Mind you, this was mid-October in Utah. It's pretty chilly. Um, I went out and just started pacing the backyard. That didn't help a whole lot, it, though it alleviated a little bit. Um, I ended up getting in the shower, shaving, making myself function. I hadn't showered or shaved in well over a week. Made myself shower, shave, and then I went for a walk around the block. And I was still really weak, but I just made myself get up and go walking. And um, the next morning, I remember, it, it, I remember it getting a little bit better as I went to bed, but it still was just like this gripping, the best way to describe it is a fight or flight instinct. Like I just I've gotta go, I gotta go now. And so I got up the next morning and before it was really even light and said to my wife, I gotta go for a walk. And I went out and walked and I started doing that every day. And that started helping little bit by little. It's the fog started leaving, the, the anxiety started backing off. And then it made me realize the more I thought about it, that I actually dealt with that as a teenager. <laughs> and I never really thought about it. I, uh, I started having night terrors probably when I was 10 or 11. Wake up, uh, we even walked in my sleep and just was, just, just something wasn't right. Every, and I, I'd wake up and I'd go into my mom's room and just, you know, just like kind of freak her out sometimes standing in the doorway <laughs> in the dark. And um, we laugh about it now, but it wasn't funny then. <laughs> but, um, and I remember having just this, 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 I couldn't sit in front of the TV. I had to do stuff. And so I was, would always get out and be active. And I, I mean, I've been active since I was little. First hike I ever went on that was memorable was with my older brothers and we hiked up in the Wellsville Mountains, up to the very ridge line where we could see down into Brigham City, Utah. And I think I was seven or eight. Um, so, you know, I was pretty little. Um, and I've just always loved the outdoors. And as a teenager, I just started every chance I could, I'd be outside hiking, riding my bike, skateboarding in the winter cross country skiing. We had a uh, backyard that was um, <clears throat> probably a football field in length that was easily a hundred yards long of just grass and I would ski laps when we would get snow, just enough snow to cover the grass what, properly. I'd go out there after school and ski laps. My skis stayed right by the back door all winter long and I would just get on my cross country skis, get home from school and just ski laps just to be out there, feel the wind in my face and get and, and expend energy and try to get rid of that, that feeling and I hadn't had that feeling of anxiety since then because I had learned to just deal with it by getting outside and doing things, by spending my energies outdoors and getting sunlight and soaking in the wind and the sounds and um, being locked up in the house for two solid weeks brought it back. <laughs> so, um, it's not fun. It's, 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 gripping, it's completely, sometimes can be almost immobilizing. On top of that, um, depression. I remember being depressed as a kid and never realizing, but just, I didn't feel good. I just didn't want to get up and go to school. And it wasn't that I actually didn't feel good. I emotionally didn't want to deal with it. I just couldn't deal with going to school. I couldn't deal with just the, the whole the, the scene, it was just over, it was just overwhelming and depressing. And as adult, I guess I, be, I, I became more, 
uh, I, I developed the skills of dealing with that by getting outside and doing things. That's why I often say, get outside, go out and enjoy the outdoors. Um, and I think that that's had a lot to do with why that anxiety came back was I just had been outside for week, you know, for two weeks. Um, I actually, uh, a couple years ago, my son mentioned to me about having anxiety and I'm like, what do you mean? Describe it to me. And, and I said, you know, and he told me it was like a fight or flight instinct. And this was before I had COVID. And I, he says, don't you remember that time you came home from, from work and I was pacing in the basement? And I vaguely remember this. I mean, it was, you know, pretty traumatic time in, in our lives all the way around. And um, I'm like, yeah, kind of. And he's like, yeah, I just, he was 14. He said that's when it hit him. And he's dealt with it ever since. Just this constant hum in the background of the world's not right. This isn't right. Things are wrong. And, and I didn't know what he was talking about until, until it hit me again with having COVID. So it really just woke me up, I guess, in a lot of ways and made me realize that my habits of getting out have been my way of dealing with it, of coping with it and, and resolving it, um, both the depression and the anxiety. So if you're suffering from anxiety and from depression, I feel what you're going through. I, um, it, it, it's, it's completely just overwhelming sometimes. And like I said, my way of dealing with it was getting outside and channeling that, uh, channeling it into something else like being outdoors, also playing instruments. I started playing uh, the trumpet when I was in seventh grade and a year or so later picked up the drums, the drum set, and then uh, started playing the guitar and I literally would p practice the drums, much to my family's consternation, seven, eight hours a day during the summertime. Uh, <laughs> we lived in a little duplex uh, for a long time there. Um, I, when I picked up the guitar and started playing the guitar, I would just practice and practice and just channel that 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 emotion and that 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 feeling of loneliness and of just loss and 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 instinctual fleeing into something else. And it was instruments and the outdoors for me. Um, artistic stuff like photography came along a little bit later in that aspect. But I've always had to just be doing something. I can't, I can't really sit still and watch TV. Um, it, sometimes I can, but generally I, I want to be doing something on top of it. I can sit and watch a movie, but I get antsy feeling like I, I got to do something else. I've got to pick up a guitar. I've got to get on my laptop and be doing something on, on my website or work prepping images, whatever. So uh, if you're suffering from this, channel it. Learn to channel it somewhere else into something constructive, not destructive. I think that's the real trick in life. Many people will channel it into destructive behaviors of substance abuse, whether it's alcohol or drugs. And you've got to learn to channel it into something constructive, something that will help you become a better person and help you cope with it. And instruments are a great way of doing it. And art, learning to paint, learning to draw, learning to photograph and getting outdoors, spending time outside, really has been the key to all of it with me. Even with the instruments, I've had to get outside. I've had to be outside. Just, I've longed, there's been times my heart has just ached because I couldn't with my, with my work and family life. I just couldn't spend the time in the outdoors that I wanted to, camping and hiking. And, uh, you know, it's just, and I noticed that's when my emotional and my mental health started to slip. So, Getting back into it really heavily the last couple of years has helped immensely, has helped me deal with uh, the, the depression. I still fight with it daily. Some days I wake up and it's just this, this 
this this pressure of life on me pulling me down and I'm like I make myself get up I make myself get functioning and I I can't wait to get outside and and just even get in the car drive just to get outside and do something um, you know get away and just get out there it helps just going for a drive even but um, if you're suffering from it channel it I really really just know what you're going through it's awful and channel it into something more than 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 giving in and channel it into something that that is helps you constructively and creatively cope with it whether you make jewelry whether you paint uh, do photography play instruments it helps it helps a lot so I just wanted to do a little video about this I actually wanted to talk about it in my last video, but it, that video ran over an hour and I had to cut a bunch of that stuff out. <laughs> so if you, uh, I hope this helps. You know, if you've got suggestions, comments, um, comment down in the, you know, in the comment section in this and just tell me your story. I love hearing people's stories. Tell me your story about your life and, and what you've been going through and your anxiety or depression and how you deal with it too. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little episode and happy trails.